Pakistan, we're back! Zindabad! Baria Town, Karachi is the place you all have been waiting for. Today, me and Pakistan's kindest man are doing a road trip from Karachi all the way over to Baria Town to experience the other modern side of Karachi. Just like in my last video where we visited the millionaire lifestyle in DHA Phase 8 Karachi, today we are showing another side of this massive city. Once we arrive to Baria Town, we are going to head inside Karachi's largest theme park and go on some insane rides. <laughs> <laughs> and then, unfortunately, we are going to be escorted out of modern Karachi towards the end of the video. And we're going to finish off with an amazing G triple OD food at Kebabji's Karachi. Chale chalo, my friends. Assalamu alaikum, my friends, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Pakistan. And as we say, Pakistan. Zindabad and as you guys can see right next to me we are with Pakistan's kindest man I'm so excited to be here because it has been almost two years since I was in Pakistan I've been busy filming a bunch of other countries meaning to come back to Pakistan and finally I have made it down boy sit good boy good boy sit Keshe ho Bohotacha Bohotacha Tige Tige <laughs> Got the little boys on the back. Oh, 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 you're driving so close. He's saying hello? Yeah. And what is he saying? No food. He's saying all good, all good. Then. All good, all good. Goodbye, brother. No. Oh. <laughs> Almost gave him a high five there. Pakistan, we're back. Zindabad. <laughs> Holy crap, I tore him. <laughs> I forgot the driving in Pakistan is uh, very close, very, very close. So I've got my brake foot. You know what they call the brake foot? It's when like your your uh, foot automatically thinks it's able to press the brake so it stops when you get too close. But yeah guys, it's great to see the daily life here in uh, Pakistan again. And you know, everyone's cruising on the motorbikes, getting to and from work, uh, various things going on because it's the middle of the work day here. We've got uh, security hanging out of the truck right here. Private security just cruising. Hello. He just got his uh, AK-47 or some sort of gun like that hanging out. I didn't want to put the camera up too much. Oh wow, look at this. We're just cruising through. Your motorcycle's coming through. Oh my god. Holy crap. Day one back in Pakistan. I gotta get used to it. Pakistan's in the bud. <laughs> That's one of my favorite parts about being in Pakistan is uh, just meeting the guys on the motorbikes. I swear, I have some of the, the coolest moments when I'm cruising by and saying hello to people on motorbikes. This guy's got a package here. Assalamu alaikum, bye. I gotta make sure I say bye. Otherwise they think I'm saying bye. <laughs> I said that to one of the guys at the hotel, he's like, bye. I was like, no, no, no I'm saying bye. But it's hard because you gotta like let the H play out, right? Like, bye. Right? How do you say it? Bye. 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 Assalamu alaikum. Bye. Yeah, same guy. Yeah, the same guy. We saw him a little bit ago. Oh, wow. So that means we're going much faster than the tuk tuk because the tuk tuk, uh, we stopped for gas and the tuk tuk we saw like 20 minutes before. So that just goes to show when Abdul Rahim's driving, he drives fast. <laughs> so we're coming up to, uh, is this a toll? So how much do they charge for the toll here? They won't charge us anything. No? Nope. Why not? Because we're a car? No, because we are just going to Korea now. Ah, very good. Okay. So it's only when you're doing long distances? Yeah. Karachi, Hyderabad. That's it. Hyderabad. So this is what you take to get to Hyderabad too then. Here's our buddy. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, nice guy. It's one thing I really appreciate about Pakistani people is anyone, no matter what they're uh, doing, you give them a smile, they're always going to give you a smile back. Besides that one guy I ran into inside of market, <laughs> if you guys remember, two years ago. <laughs> he was the only guy, but 99.99999% of other people will give you a smile no matter what. Kia Bariatan Manga He? No. No? Sasta? Sasta. G? Yeah. Uh, Alright, we're doing a little Urdu practice. How was that, brother? Tige, tige, that's what we call Bahota Cha. Chale! 
All right, we're arriving to Beria town right now, and here it is. Looks like this is gonna be the uh, free entrance for us. Let's check it out, see if it works. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, there we go. I told you guys, every single person will give you a big smile. Except me. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I, I bet I can make them. Don't smile. <laughs> it worked. All right. Kia Baria Town Bohotache. Hey. GG. All right, it's coming along. Good, good practice here. We are arriving. Salam. And it looks like we're coming on the uh, modern side too here. Lots of big buildings part, uh, towering over. There's Beria Town right there in big letters. Is it one of these gates that was burned before? Yeah. Okay, so two years ago, yeah? Two or three years ago? Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. All right, we are arriving in and look at this. So would you call this the Dubai of Pakistan? Yeah, you can call it. Wow, all right. No arms allowed, all right, so no guns here. Interesting. Are there hotels and like apartments here you can rent? Yeah, yes. Look at this, we have arrived. My friends, we're arriving to modern Karachi. Hello, hello. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that, it's coming in nicely on the phone too. Cruising right in. First time in Baria. Beria. It kind of feels a little bit like uh, Islamabad here. With everything like very precisely designed. He gave me a big smile too. Guys, I can barely see the wind's getting me. Barrio Adventureland that way. And we've got the big clock right there. And then on the left we've got it on the right we've got Adventureland. But it looks like it's closed right now. That's probably a nighttime thing, right? No. Daytime? It should be open by now. Yeah, you don't see any like rides moving or anything. At this point, we were a bit unsure whether we just go straight into the theme park or if there were other things we should check out first. But honestly, the park looked empty, so we figured we'd be able to experience all of the roller coasters if we headed there first. So let's chale chalo. This is like the main attraction that everyone does when they come to uh, Beria Town. You just have this huge, like almost Disneyland like theme park. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, yeah. <laughs> All right, we are arriving to uh, Beria town, specifically to the theme park. So it is time to head inside. It looks like yellow ticket must be for uh, kids. I know. Tuesday, oh, Monday. Okay, good thing we're not here Monday, it's closed. But 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. And here we are, Baria Adventureland. So we're going here to the walk-in. That's the nice part about coming here during the weekday, is there's just nobody here yet. So that probably means either some of the rides are going to be closed or we're going to get to go on them as much as we want. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Uh, two tickets, please. Six thousand. Right. Just in time, guys. We got in, and it's ten dollars per person to get in, and we've got the place to ourselves. Let's go, bro. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, we got our boys going right here too. Oh yeah, we got the squad here. Assalamu alaikum. Hey, how are you? Good, and you? Kese ho. Shukriya, shukriya, brother. How do we do the dance moves? Uh, Burger King, that's a uh, Pakistani chain? No, it's closed. It's closed. <laughs> I'm joking. Guys, it literally feels like we've got the place to ourselves. Salam. Got the squad going. Oh, yeah. That's great. Baria, Baria. It's Baria. Baria. <laughs> they looked at me like, what is he saying? Oh, there's a, a mini mosque right there, yeah? 
that's really nice. I think we are literally the only guests here. Literally, I don't see another person around besides workers. I don't hear any of the roller coasters going. You think it's open? Yeah, everything is open. Like any of the rides we can go on right now. Yeah? yeah? Well, let's go to the roller coaster. Guys, it's great that I'm here with Abdul Rahim because if I was here alone, I would literally be like the only guest here. I feel like this is probably a theme park though on the weekends and at night is when it's the craziest. Probably no one's here yet because it is, I don't know, maybe 6 p.m. Something like that. Let's check. 5.52. <laughs> Abdul Rahim said he absolutely loves roller coasters. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. This has got like kind of a intense drop it looks like. Oh, look at them going down. Oh, oh. We have just gotten on the roller coaster. Are you ready for this, brother? Oh, oh. oh, here we go. We got front row, guys. Literally, we have the whole roller coaster to ourselves. Here we go. The whole thing to ourselves. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, well, let's hope this thing stays on the tracks. Inshallah, inshallah. Make sure that thing's down all the way. I don't want that thing to pop open on me. Here we go. Don't be scared, brother. Hands up. Put them up. Put them up, brother. Oh, we gotta show what it's looking like going down. Oh yeah, here we go. Yalla! Oh! oh. 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 Woo! <laughs> Yeah, you gotta keep the hands inside here. Look at this thing, we're cruising through here. Oh! Look at this! Oh! I'm doing it. He's like, I'm not going on this thing ever again. I think it's oh, we're going all the way around. Oh! Oh my God, the G-force! Woo! Oh! That was probably was this the uh, craziest ride in the park, bro? That was intense. Oh, bohota cha, eh? Oh yeah. That, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Can we just stay up here? But sit here, can you come back first? Now we're also coming. Hey, we can stay. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, bye. Yeah, bohota cha, hein. And that's right, Yiba Hoka Chak. Weren't you afraid, bro? No. Were you? Yeah, I had my eyes closed. <laughs> no, bro. Got the bags there, Shukriya, brother. All right, that was great. On to the next ride. We're going to see what's next. The nice part is literally no wait. That one up there. Maybe we did it. Oh, they're just sitting up there waiting for the drop. Let's see what that looks like. Aladdin? People are going to roll, and this will also going to roll. Oh, no way. No. Hey, I will if you do it. No, no, no way. I'm like... Oh, look at that. It doesn't look too bad, though. They're just kind of getting tossed. Does it go much faster than that? Yeah. Oh. That one's going to swing, yeah? Oh, so you're basically getting tossed there. Oh, oh. What do you think? We go on it? I won't. Why? All right, I think we gotta go on it. I'm going. Yeah, really? Yeah. Hell yeah. You Are you coming? Phone, I can just film it from outside. Are you coming? Go ahead. <laughs> Switching sides. Maybe I can hop in on this one. I can get on this side. Ah, uh, shukriya, brother. All right, here we go. What do we do? Hello, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. All right. Scary? Scary? Uh, actually, it's not bad. Not bad? It's not bad, but it's not bad. Uh, okay, that's great. Perfect. Shoot for your brother. Uh. You sure you don't want to come, Abdul? <laughs> Woo, sh How do you buckle that thing in? All right. Go, Joe. Oh, oh sh that is about as tight as it'll ever get. Woo -hoo -hoo. 
And here we go. Oh, sh hey, man. My hands are sweaty. I feel like the Eminem song. Yeah, what? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he wants me to tell you that the camera is your responsibility. Okay. All right. Camera is my responsibility, but uh, we're going to be all right. GoPro. GoPro. Yeah. I'm going to be here. Bye. Sad? My name is Mac. Hey. Mac, yeah. Here it goes. The platform has dropped. That Eminem song, I was going to say. Palms are weak, knees. No, palms are sweaty, knees weak like spaghetti. That's how I'm feeling. All right, as you can see here, we've got the theme park starting to light up. Ferris wheel's going. And Paul Calder Prayer's finished. It's going to be crazy. Woo! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, it's really picking up. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god! Oh! This is insane. Oh my god! We are flying right now. We are absolutely flying. Abdul Rahim! Oh! It just defies all laws of gravity. Oh! Get full of butterflies in your stomach. Oh, I'm gonna try and show you this view. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> Holy crap, that's insane. Abdul! Oh, and then we're going down slowly. Oh. <laughs> that was fast. Ye ride Bohotiche. Yeah, I told you I thought it was fast. Alright man, looks like we just wait at the top while they hop off maybe. We've got full views of the park here though. There's the roller coaster. It makes the roller coaster look much smaller when you're just sitting up here. Look at this, you can see all of the uh, city though. <clears throat> Whew. We are back. All right, we have survived. Oh. We have survived. Oh, legs feel like jello now. Good ride, brother. Yep, totally a sawdust, man. Yeah, not, not as scary as I expected it to be. You thinking about coming the next round? I know, when you're sitting up there, you just don't know if they're gonna drop you or what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, that was wild. Next up is bumper cars, and we'll see if Abdul Rahim's back to uh, being uh, my partner on this. All right, we got cool crashers cars here. We're going on. Let's get on this one. Yeah, we're going on. Chalet, huh? you have been here before as well. I know. I've done a lot of bumper cars before. All right. Well, we better pick our car. I'm gonna grab this black one over here. The fun's about to begin. Oh, oh, oh. All right, here we go. This is going to be intense. Hopefully these ones are fast. It doesn't matter if you wear the seatbelt. Oh, how does this thing go forward? Oh, oh, oh. here we go, Abdul. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> we're getting nailed here. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh. <laughs> All right, we gotta pick up speed here. Abdul, I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I got nailed. Oh, 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 oh. I just got. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm getting destroyed. Oh. Now I know what it's like to get in a serious car accident. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh! oh. <laughs> Holy sh! I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. These are probably the most intense bumper cars I've ever been on. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 We're getting locked in here. <laughs> 
This is the most intense game of bumper cars I've ever done. <laughs> when you're least expecting it. <laughs> Got you, bro. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Oh, sh Oh. Oh. God. This is the most intense game of bumper cars I've ever played in my life. No, this is too much for me, bro. This is this is the most uh, brutal. Uh, I'm 30 now, bro. This stuff affects us. Oh, shukriya, bye. I'm destroyed, bro. You see me a couple of times. I just got absolutely smashed from the back. I'm literally gonna feel that tomorrow. I don't know if you guys saw it in the camera, but that's uh, that's not gonna be good. Let's put it that way. I am surprised. There is, besides those people we saw by those rides, nobody else here. And there are so many workers everywhere. I'm just so surprised this place uh, is able to be open all this time. Cause we've been here maybe two hours or so and like nobody else has shown up. So this must just, get really busy maybe on the weekends and that's how it funds the rest of the week but yeah it's a really nice place overall just a ghost town standing brother uh, shukriya shukriya until next time Allah Hafiz. see you see you he's the last one standing at the door until next time brother sir you come back uh we're leaving this time no nope Ticket scan. Ticket scan. Uh, let's find out the tickets. Uh, there's one. Chukria brother. Oh, we got the birds up there. Oh, they just landed on those spikes. Oh, oh, oh. oh they're landing on the spikes. Oh, we got this one. Chukria brother. Okay. Chukria. Until next time, brother. Allah Hafiz. So we just teleported over here. And we're going to a place called Carnival. We saw a big screen where they're playing a cricket match. So we're like, let's go check this place out. No professional cameras allowed inside. Good thing we've got just a GoPro. Shukriya. Uh, what does the card do? This is entry card. Oh, entry card, okay. There we go, we got cards. Shukriya, bye. Thank you. Well, as you can see, we've got the police right behind us. They're not letting me bring in the camera, as you can see, in the carnival, which I was surprised because uh, we've got a sign that says no professional cameras, and in the other place, no professional meant DSLR. And here they're saying a camera that actually records lower quality than the phone is not allowed in, so that was surprising. The sign says no professional cameras. This isn't professional, so the sign should say no cameras at all. They should fix the, cam the sign. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hey, what do you want? Hmm? What do you want? Uh, we're getting a refund. So it says ticket will not be refunded, but then the signage doesn't say it correctly. They're saying they won't be refunding it. You can speak to them. Man, oh man. I actually don't care at all about the 100 rupees. It's just more the principle of, all right, if this is how it's going to be, this is how it's going to be. The sign here says no professional cameras. This this should be this should be X'd out and it should say no cameras allowed. Because if I if this said no cameras, I would not have buy, bought a ticket. But it says no professional cameras. Can you explain that to him? That I if that would have said no cameras, I wouldn't have bought a ticket. But because it says no professional cameras. That is our chance. We wanted to take you guys inside a carnival, but unfortunately my Pakistani friends watching the video. I was really hoping to show this place, but all you'll ever know is, uh, at least in my video, is that there's a screen over there, there's Carnival there, and uh, sadly we won't be adding this to the tour, but uh, that's what happens sometimes. By the way, my friends, sometimes I, not often, but like probably 5% of the time I get comments when I'm in like Pakistan or recently in India. It's like, you know, how come vloggers, you know, aren't showing some of the really nice parts? And I will say what I have found, like, you know, when it comes to like a lot of nice malls, a lot of like the newer areas, that's where the most rules are from the government. So I, 
I will reply to future comments when people ask me if they say, why didn't you show you know this part of Baria Town? Well, I can tell you that we tried to, and we really wanted to. I was excited to go in there, but because of whatever reason that someone was misinterpreting a professional camera versus a tiny little GoPro. Uh, oh, this guy just hopped right on back of this person's truck. <laughs> oh, Pakistan, Zindabad. But I just wanted to mention that because I do sometimes get comments that I'm like, I do go to modern sites, but sometimes I go to modern sites and I'm not allowed to film. And I spent, I mean, we spent, me and Abdul Rahim spent like 30 minutes trying to convince them like, hey, can you just contact your marketing team? I'm sure they would. There was some sort of thing that was going on that was illegal. Maybe they did not want it. I was filming. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You never know. You never know. Like whatever it is that they're hiding. Uh, I didn't understand that. I asked, like, I didn't have the camera on because I had it down, but they, they, they were holding it. But I was like, uh, what is the actual reason why, why I can't bring a camera that films lower quality than my phone? And they didn't have an answer. It was just, uh, it, w it was just more like avoiding the question. So yeah, anyways, guys, next time I come to Karachi, if you want me to film in these nice places, talk to the government for me. And if the marketing team's watching this, maybe figure out a better way to, uh, you know, allow people that are coming to show your beautiful place to the world a little easier. What's your name? Abid. 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 My name is Mac. Yeah, yeah. I'm Pakistani name. Yeah. So, uh, really good food? Yeah. Very good food, yeah. Oh, we've got a nice little uh, viewpoint. We've got the fountain, kebabji right here. And we're gonna head up here and check it out. Shukriya, bye. Let's check this place out. Best view? Best view. Oh, Bohotacha view. Woo, Bohotacha view, hein? <laughs> How's the Urdu? Good? Acha Urdu? Oh, look at this. This is a nice little vibe. Excuse me, sir. Uh, where do you want to sit? Good spot over here. You said. Can you yeah. Uh, two brother. Uh, Shukriya. Uh, this is going to be us right over here. What do you think? Oh, uh, can we do this side, brother? So I can look okay, here. Oh, someone's there. Shukriya, bye. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, over on this side. Shukriya. So this is our view. We've got the entire kebabchi chicken kitchen down there i'm calling it a chicken they've got chicken in the kitchen though i can see it from here that's what i'm thinking i think that means we're gonna have to get some chicken what do you think mutton uh, mutton, mutton guy, yeah. oh love the mutton as you guys can see this trip has so far been a lot of like theme park type of styles that's what you'll get out here in the outskirts of karachi and what i find pretty cool is like it's a bit of everything here we've got restaurants to eat we've got things for you know kids or maybe even i don't know some of them are for adults too where you can do like rides over there then over here a massive kitchen and this thing's like two or three floors that we just climbed up to get up here and it's well lit we've got this whole area cube lighting all up there and it stretches across so i'd say this is uh quite a nice little vibe to have for dinner a little bit different than what we did last time which was lots and lots of street food maybe we'll do a day getting street food in uh karachi but still kind of tbd we're checking out modern karachi with the man the myth the legend Pakistan's kindest man. Dinner time. Serving experience. All right. Cheese naan. We're gonna need one of those. You like cheese naan, brother? Cheese naan. As a side. <laughs> what do you got your mind on? On mutton. Mutton, yeah. But look what I found. Molten lava with ice cream. That is a must. Is there anything that's you'd recommend that's um, Pakistani to try? I would say try rangu kebab, yeah. But that's mutton. You want to have chicken? Mutton is uh, lamb? Yeah. No, I'll try it. You want to try it? Because it's Pakistani traditional, right? Yeah, rangu kebab. Yeah, perfect. Shukriya, bye. And what do we have here? Oh, look at this. A new type of cheese naan. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, you better grab a bite before it's all gone, brother. No, you, uh, you have it. Say bismillah. Ooh, hey, just bismillah. bismillah. Yeah. You're turning on yourself as a Muslim. Mac Muslim. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to try one of these, brother. You got to try one of these. Really? Get it while it's hot. Get it while it's hot. Let's go for another bite. 
Mmm. That is like a stringy cheese. The cheese is equivalent to like that craft sliced cheese you find at the grocery store mixed inside. Mm -hmm. It is just gooey though. Mm. How is that, brother? It is good, man. Mm -mm -mm. Bohot tasty. Hai. Ye bohot achhe hain? Ye bohot laziz hai. Laziz hai? Oh. Laziz means tasty. Bohot laziz hai. Laziz. Hell. Bohot laziz? Hai. Hai. But bohot laziz hai. And here we go. What do we have in here? This is a wani boti. This is mutton rib. That's rangu kebab. All right, let's do a little peek and see what we got going on. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Are you ready for this, brother? Yeah. And what is under this one? That is the largest piece of meat I think I've ever seen served on a table. That's what you got? These are mutton ribs, yep. Yeah. This is the kebab. Yep. Oh, no. What is this one? Chapati. Oh, no, that's the rangi kebab is inside. You can rangi eat. kebab inside of here. They have given you the mac. Oh, 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 so we eat that like a burrito? Yeah. They knew that mac style is burrito. We came to the right place, my friends. Kebabji, it is time to do a little kebabji in. Give it a smell. Ooh, that is going to be delish. I can sense it and I can smell it. Enjoy, brother. I want to try a little piece before I turn it into the mac burrito. Mmm. Oh, baby. That just melts in your mouth. Shukriya. So we're gonna pour a little bit. Oh, this thing is loaded with like the grease in there. We might have to drain that a bit. All right, so it is time to dig right in here. I can tell you guys, I don't think I've been this excited for a meal in a long time. Is this hot pepper? That's the green chili. Ooh, yeah. Got a nice little spice there. We're gonna get this thing right up there, in, and this is chapati, right? Ooh. What's the name of this green one? Green chili. Green chili. Dump that right on there. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing going, my friends. This is how the, it's just how you eat it. Yeah. Roll it up like that. Mmm. Oh, look at that. Look at all that meat right inside of there. That is fantastic. Mm. That is so good. It is just melting in the mouth right now. And you can see that green chili sauce just coming right out of the back. Mm. That green chili on a uh, kebab here is like something I've never had before. Mm. 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 If you guys remember, I used to say one very specific line. That is G double O D. Good, uh, good. But that's G triple O D. That was good. And we have cleared that thing out like there is no tomorrow. And of course, Pakistan's kindness man has put a nice piece of steak on the plate for me to test out. And this is a uh, mutton steak. This is Dumba. Dumba. Mm. <laughs> Is that all fat? Yeah. Oh, that's not for me. You like that one? Yeah, that's my, not my type. I'm not a big fan who likes the taste of fat, but the uh, the one I had was great. Oof. Oh yeah. Well, as you can see, guys, it's melting a little bit. That's because I was taking some phone videos, but we've got ourselves a delicious chocolate lava cake we're gonna slice that thing right open and look at that just pouring out oh, oh yes let's try that out that is beyond what i even expected it to taste like that is freaking incredible there is something about a hot lava cake mixing in with ice cream that is a very special place in my heart and in this case, my heart is in my taste buds. I have absolutely demolished that chocolate lava cake. That was really, really good. Kebabjis, if you're watching this, I don't know if I'm just super hungry, but that might've been one of my favorite chocolate lava cakes I've had in the region. 
I don't know if I can say in the world, I've had some very, very good chocolate lava cakes. Definitely the best chocolate lava cake I've had in Pakistan. Maybe the region too, some of the surrounding countries. That was phenomenal, phenomenal. I kid you not, guys. I want to explain that one more time. We're talking a chocolate cake on the inside, based on the outside. On the inside, just a creamy, warm chocolate, a heaping scoop of vanilla ice cream. You take a spoonful of that chocolate, you take a spoonful of that vanilla, you mix the two, half your mouth is warm, half your mouth is cold, and they just infuse together into one incredibly tasting combination. Oh, I could eat like five more, but I'm trying to cut this biryani belly down a little bit, so it's not gonna be possible. Speaking of biryani belly, by the way, guys, if you're seeing what I'm wearing in all my videos lately, this is my Perception clothing brand, my personal clothing brand, which supports my brand, which is changing perceptions of the world one country at a time. And when I wear this, I wanna share that with you guys that my goal is to change how people view the world. You know, we are all just a product of what we consume when it comes to media, where we grew up, what we learned in school, what our parents' backgrounds are. But when you go out and experience something yourself, you create your own perception. And when I go around wearing this, it's a reminder. Create your own perceptions, my friends, and check the link in the description below if you want to support. You'll be able to sign up for a $500 apparel giveaway that'll be very soon. So you can be one of the lucky winners, and back to the video. So as you guys can see, for this entire luxury meal, only 8,521 rupees, which is 30 US dollars. So a bargain to be able to eat such delicious food here today. And let me tell you, my belly is full. We've got a uh, 1,000 tip for the bro here. And this one is ours. Shukriya, brother. Shukriya. All right, that was a delish meal. Mm -mm, good. One of my favorites I've had in Pakistan. I don't remember because it's been two years which meals are my favorite. I can't remember the tastes, but I can tell you this one really impressed me. So I'm excited with what's to come in some of the uh, videos here because we're going to be having some delish chow. Chale, chale, bye. Oh, brother, I would say we're talking 10 out of 10. Shukriya, bye. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Abkanam Abbas. Abbas? That's right. Uh, where are you from? Back. Uh, I am from America. I'm from America. Mer, America, uh, Han. Yeah. Uh, how was it in Pakistan? What you like? Pakistan, Zindabad. What you like is the food? Yeah, Pakistan, bohot a chaha. Did you talk? Oh, yeah, always. What's the name? And the world nomad, brother. Yeah, Pakistan's been great. My third time here. Third time. Uh, I would continue with it. Oh, many cool. times, many times. Thank you. Bro. Yeah, nice to meet you, brother. Nice you. Abha? Abbas. 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 Okay, Pleasure to meet you, brother. Me too. Allah Hafiz. Allah. Shukriya. All right, that was a nice trip there. Shukriya, brother. Allah Hafiz. All right, and we have lost our man. Oh, there he is. Ciao, brother. Enjoy. For both of you. Had to uh, hook the kids up. They came up and we had some leftover food, so uh, they looked like they were hungry. My thing is usually I give kids only uh, food, not money, because uh, unfortunately in many countries I've found sometimes the money doesn't always get back to them. And the kids will be eating well tonight because I know we like the food. Overall, I really enjoyed visiting Baria Town and I would have loved to experience a few more places around there, specifically like Carnival, but unfortunately they didn't allow us to enter. But next time we'll definitely have to try and figure out a way in as well as stop by the Eiffel Tower of Karachi. But anyways, guys, in my next video, I'm going to be heading up to the most beautiful place in all of Pakistan, which is Skardu. So I would love to hear in the comments where you guys want me to visit and I will see you all then. Thanks for watching. And as always, Pakistan Zinda. Bad.